Have you ever wondered who first coined the name Pakistan? What role did this person play in Pakistan's independence? Today we're shedding light on an often overlooked yet deeply influential figure in Pakistan's journey to sovereignty, Chaudhry Ramat Ali. This man was not just a passionate political visionary, but he was also the first to propose the name Pakistan for the new Muslim state. His name may not be as widely recognized as some of his contemporaries, but his impact is undeniable. In the politically charged year of 1933, Chaudhry Ramad Ali penned a pamphlet titled, Now or Never, putting forth a powerful argument for the establishment of a separate Muslim state. This document, though concise, was a catalyst that would ultimately shape the political landscapes of South Asia. Let's delve deeper into the life of this influential figure and his significant contributions. Born in Hoshiarpur, Punjab in 1897, Chaudhry Ramat Ali's early life was far from ordinary. As the son of a Gujar family he was steeped in a culture rich with tradition and history. His family was deeply invested in their community and this sense of duty and responsibility would greatly influence Ramat Ali's life. His journey towards becoming an influential political figure began with his education. He completed his initial schooling in his hometown, where he was introduced to the complexities of the Indian subcontinent's political landscape. As he delved deeper into these complexities, he became increasingly aware of the challenges faced by the Indian Muslim community in a predominantly Hindu society. Ramad Ali's thirst for knowledge and passion for politics led him to pursue higher education in England. He left for England in 1930, where he enrolled at the University of Cambridge. This was a transformative period in his life a time when his political ideology truly began to take shape. Submerging himself in the intellectual environment of Cambridge, Ramad Ali was deeply influenced by the progressive political thoughts circulating in the West. He became an active participant in debates, discussions and intellectual exchanges, which further refined his political ideology. His experiences in England also exposed him to the stark contrast between the political rights enjoyed by individuals in Western societies and the lack of such rights in his homeland. His time in England also allowed him to gain a global perspective on the Indian subcontinent's political dynamics. Interacting with individuals from diverse backgrounds he realized the necessity of a separate homeland for Indian Muslims, where they could live freely, practicing their religion and culture without fear of persecution. This realization formed the cornerstone of Ramad Ali's political ideology, leading him to advocate for the creation of a separate Muslim state, a concept he would later encapsulate in his proposal for Pakistan. Thus his time in England was a turning point setting the stage for his future political activism. In the heart of England a new nation was conceived. Pakistan. This wasn't just a geographical entity, but an idea, a dream born in the mind of a visionary man. Chaudhry Ramat Ali. His foresight led him to propose the name Pakistan for a separate Muslim state, a proposition that would become a beacon of hope for millions. The name Pakistan was more than just a label, it was an acronym. Each letter stood for a region that Ali envisioned would constitute this new nation. P for Punjab, A for Afghania, K for Kashmir, S for Sin, and Tan for Balochistan. Stan in Persian also means land, so Pakistan in essence was to be the land of purity, the homeland for Indian Muslims. But the significance of the name didn't stop there. Pakistan in Persian also translates to land of the pure, symbolizing the purity and unity of the Muslim faith, its values, and its community. It was a name that embodied the aspirations of a people yearning for a homeland where they could practice their faith freely and live in peace. Ali's proposition was more than a mere suggestion. It was a clarion call, a rallying cry for Muslims in India to imagine a future where they could shape their own destiny. The name Pakistan breathed life into the dream of self-determination, of sovereignty, of freedom, this name carried with it the promise of a new dawn, a fresh start. It was a name that would come to define the identity of millions, shaping their dreams, their hopes, their aspirations. It was a name that would bind together diverse cultures, languages, and traditions under one banner, forging a sense of unity, of shared purpose. And so, from the heart of England, a new nation was imagined. A nation that would rise from the ashes of colonial rule, overcoming adversity, and standing tall in the face of challenges. A nation that would embody the spirit of its people, their resilience, their determination, their courage. This was more than a name, it was a vision for a separate homeland for Muslims in India. 1933 marked the year of a groundbreaking publication, Now or Never. This was a pamphlet that went on to change the course of history, penned by none other than Chaudhry Ramad Ali himself. 
In this pamphlet, Ali outlined his vision for a separate Muslim state, a vision that was bold, audacious, and yet, imbued with a sense of necessity. He called this proposed state Pakistan, a name that carried deep meaning. The name Pakistan was a combination of the initials of Punjab, Afghan, Kashmir, Sindh, and Baluchistan, regions that were home to significant Muslim populations. The name also bore the literal meaning, land of the pure, reflecting Ali's aspiration for a state free from the religious and social strife that plagued united India. The contents of now or never were revolutionary, to say the least. Ali detailed the socio-political injustices faced by Muslims in a united India, and argued that the only solution was the creation of a separate Muslim state. He stated, The only way to a peaceful India is the recognition of a Muslim India and a Hindu India. This pamphlet didn't just outline a political solution, it was a call to awaken the dormant aspiration for freedom among the Muslims of India. It urged them to unite under the banner of a common cause, the creation of Pakistan. The impact of now or never was profound. It ignited a spark among the Muslim community, leading to a surge in support for the idea of Pakistan. It also set the stage for the Lahore Resolution of 1940, which formally called for the creation of a separate Muslim state. Yet, now or never was more than just a political manifesto, it was a testament to Ali's unwavering belief in the right of Muslims to live in a state where they could practice their faith without fear or prejudice. The pamphlet was a call to action, a plea for unity among the Muslims of India. Despite his monumental contributions, Ramat Ali's final years were marked by obscurity and solitude. This visionary, who had been a key player in the creation of Pakistan, found himself feeling increasingly alienated from his homeland's political direction. In the aftermath of independence, Ramat Ali had hoped that Pakistan would flourish as an ideal Islamic state. However, he soon grew disillusioned with the reality. He observed political decisions that, in his perspective, strayed from the principles he had envisioned for the nation. This disenchantment led him to voice his concerns loudly and publicly, a decision which ultimately resulted in his estrangement from Pakistan's political landscape. His final years were spent in Cambridge, England, far from the land he had helped to name and create. Despite his geographical distance, Ramat Ali never lost his love for Pakistan, nor his deep desire for its prosperity. He passed away on February 3, 1951, leaving behind a legacy that continues to resonate throughout Pakistan and beyond. Ramad Ali's impact on the world was not confined to his lifetime. He remains a symbol of unwavering conviction and unyielding dedication to one's beliefs. His vision for Pakistan, though not fully realized in his lifetime, continues to influence the nation's trajectory. His pamphlet, Now or Never, Are We to Live or Perish Forever, remains a testament to his fierce nationalism and his unwavering belief in the potential of an independent Muslim state. Despite his political isolation and the controversy surrounding his ideas, Ramad Ali's contributions to the formation of Pakistan cannot be overlooked. His suggestion of the name Pakistan stands as a powerful symbol of his enduring influence. Today, millions of people identify themselves as Pakistanis, a testament to Ramad Ali's enduring legacy. In the grand tapestry of history, Ramad Ali's thread is woven with bold strokes and vibrant colors. His life serves as a poignant reminder of the power of conviction and the enduring impact of a single voice. Chaudhry Ramat Ali, a visionary, a catalyst, and the man who named Pakistan, remains an enigma, wrapped in a paradox. One cannot help but ponder, what if Ramat Ali's vision for Pakistan had been realized? As we reflect upon the ideals of Chaudhry Ramat Ali, it's intriguing to draw comparisons with the current state of affairs in Pakistan. The contrast between the envisioned and the actual is stark, Yet it's these disparities that provide us with invaluable lessons. Ali dreamt of a nation, Pakistan, a sanctuary for Muslims, a beacon of harmony, prosperity, and unity. Today we witness a different narrative, one that has been shaped by countless socio-political dynamics. Yet the essence of Ali's vision remains pertinent. Learning from our history is not just about paying homage to the past, it's about acknowledging the dreams and struggles of individuals like Ali, understanding how their visions have shaped our present, and utilizing these lessons to navigate our future. As we remember Chaudhry Ramad Ali, we are reminded of the power of a single voice and the impact of an unyielding vision.